Ah, yes, my boys. Welcome back to another episode of YT Dan Legendary Duelist. I'm your boy, YT Dan, and we're going to be getting in there for some World Championship Qualifier talk today, my boy. I've got a lot of information to share with you, news and updates from my channel, and then also some stuff about the World Championship Qualifiers. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I do want to talk about, my boys, I will be officially starting my stream uh, back June 1st. Um, going forward from June 1st throughout eternity, I guess, I'm going to be uh, live streaming again on this channel regularly, um, probably from 12 to 4 o'clock, um, you know, or earlier. But mainly my uh, time is going to be from noon to 4 every day, Monday through Friday. And then I might do some stuff on the weekend. Now, up until June 1st. I will be doing some streams. They will be private streams. They will be members only streams um, up until then. So if you want to watch those streams, you can join as a member. You aren't really missing anything. It's more of me testing in the lab and figuring out some stuff as I prepare to create more content uh, going forward. I'm trying out some new technologies for the stream and things like that. So it's not necessarily like a stream where I'm doing like a ton of gameplay, but it's more of like a stream where I'm figuring things out so I can be um, at a highest at the highest level of production I can possibly be when June 1st comes. So if you want to join in on that, it's a members only stream and I'm doing that like, you know, noontime uh, every day up until June 1st. But until then, um, that time will be replaced with a forever stream 12 to four. Yesterday I did do some of that streaming and I got a lot of opportunity to play with DDD and the world championship qualifiers. Realistically, the DDD needs two to three cards to really go off. Like you can get, you can do pretty good with one card, but you have to have that one right card along with other cards in your hand. So that's not really good for where we are right now in the metagame. The metagame is super non-linear. Um, and then there's a, lots of decks that kind of ebb and flow um, as effects are activating in the graveyard, in the hand, and honestly all over the place. Um, so that being said, uh, either you need to play something exactly the same or play something that can handle that type of speed. And what I found is I've changed over my deck and kind of went back to an old deck that I was playing before um, just because I wanted to just see how it could fare or practice. And I've been playing my old Tri-Brigade deck. Now, I haven't added the Scareclaw stuff yet, but I've been doing really good. The DDD deck that I was playing yesterday had about a 50% win rate. Now, over 12 games yesterday, including a couple tier limit games, I was able to get nine W's with this deck and took three random losses. And the three random losses that I took wasn't like blowout losses. It was more like, you know, it just ended up being an L. <laughs> but I mean, an L is an L. But in this World Championship Qualifiers where everyone is bringing their best game, I thought it would be pretty cool to talk about this deck and just run through some of like the philosophy and tech of the deck. So as you can see, you know, we've been getting in there and been clapping significantly with this deck and been getting a lot of dubs. And then also, as you can see, this deck actually can go to six to 10 turns, which is absolutely insane. But um, it, it really goes into like the cards that we're playing here. So let's just take a look at some of like the, the cards in the deck list. All right, so we're back at it again with the classic deck, my boy. Um, but it's pretty interesting because we have a lot of new uh, things and new features added to this deck that um, based on the meta is really interesting. So we are running a ton of blowout cards here along with board breaker cards, a ton of hand traps and a lot of one card combo activations. So right now we're using uh, Fractal at two, and we also have uh, three Fire Formation Tinkies since that was taken off of the limited and restricted list. We really are looking to really get into the Fractal line of play. It's one of our best lines of play because it's a special summon and it really kicks off the combo if we can special summon and not normal summon. 
if we're able to do that, we pretty much can search our mainstay combo, normal summon monsters, which is Horse of the Floral Knights or Rescue Cat, um, depending on who we search off of our shoe rig uh, effect. Now, when we use shoe rig's effect to pretty much search the deck, we have three targets, which is the Horse of the Floral Knights, Rescue Cat, and then also um, DD Crow, and which is really cool. You know, DD Crow obviously is a good hand trap against this current meta because everyone's playing tier limits. But in the Tri Brigade deck, you can search it with Shoe Rig's effect. Also, the Tri Brigade deck can summon this card. It is really good. This, uh, <laughs> the Desperate Doom Eagle. Uh, this card basically can uh, take a card from your opponent's graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck. So this card can really mess up Tier Limit or any other graveyard strategy. And it's an easy summon off of any Tri Brigade effect. So that being said, let's just talk about, you know, more of like the combo extenders in this deck. So what's really interesting about this deck is that we're running this card right here, Alpha the Master of Beasts. People really have forgotten about this card, how strong this card is. Against Tier Limit, this card is really crazy because not only can it like attack over some random monsters that have less than 3000 attack, it can also bounce an opponent's monster, which really threatens the opponent, especially if you don't need battle um, to, uh, if you if you can if you don't think you're gonna win this turn and you don't need your battle phase really and you just need your battle phase to help break boards this card is really helpful to help you break the board also if you're playing tri brigade honestly it's perfect synergy it's a beast monster and this card returns itself to the hand so you can combo it with lightning storm for example you can special summon this card attack into a card bounce a card and then lightning storm to destroy all attack position monsters or spells or traps or whatever you need but lightning storm and this card can work in combination which is really really good we're also running three Forbidden Droplets, obviously, because Forbidden Droplet is just that good of a spell card right now. You know, I think in terms of board breaking, you have to run some kind of spell board breaker, and it's either gonna be Forbidden Droplets or um, Dark Ruler No More. And I would suggest Dark Ruler No More if you can't really kill your opponent in your deck through your combo line, but you set up some sort of board of control after you blow up on their monsters, obviously. So, um, Forbidden Droplets, just really good card. Combos off with everything in this deck. As you know, you want to send stuff to the graveyard. Also, you have cards that stick, like Fire Formation Tinky. And then also you have spells and uh, traps that you can chain Forbidden Droplets with um, so that you can like get more value. So Forbidden Droplets is just a really good card. Imperm, same reason we're running Droplets. And I'm also running one copy of Twin Twister because of the obvious synergy. And also, Twin Twister really helps to break up the board. I mean, there's a lot of back row. You got Salik, you got the uh, trap card, the other counter traps, uh, I think it's called Crime. You have uh, tons of other traps that people are playing. Just run that Twin Twister with the Storm, with the Duster. I have three spells dedicated to back row destruction. And I think that that's just enough. This deck does get a chance to draw cards occasionally. And it also, can shuffle and return cards so there is an opportunity to get into these cards also with uh, everyone playing a lot of mill right now with all the ashizu stuff you're gonna maybe get a plus one off of a kit or a plus one off of the nervals effect which works really well um and then also we can have a little bit of mill engine um ourselves with um the magical dragon uh, so chaotic, ma chaotic magical dragon isn't banned in this format um, and we can play it here in the World Championship Qualifiers. Um, it's an easy level eight synchro that we can go into with Horse of the Floral Knights. And if we have Hop Air Squadron in hand, we can use it to synchro summon in our opponent's turn to add a little bit of fluidity to our negation with um, Baron de Floor. And it's just a really strong combo deck that can come at your opponent in a bunch of unique ways that is enough to really give Tillament and other decks a run for their money because it's a non-linear strategy that really only depends on one or 
maybe even two cards if you just count something like the entire combo line of fractal and another beast in hand you know it's pretty much a one to two card combo deck and going second which is what i really um prefer to do in this deck uh you know it's pretty busted so let's just hop on some of these replays my boy and take a look at what's been going on in here I think what's interesting right now is that a lot of the tier lament decks I think are pretty much at the very tippity tippity top of this uh, format. So like right at max and like 19. So a lot of people are, you know, dealing with that. So this uh, tier lament deck, you know, is down here at my level, which I believe I'm at 15 right now or something like that. Um, still have room uh, to keep going, obviously. So this Tillamid deck is gonna just standard combo and just go bananas. The only thing I'm looking for here, since I didn't open with any hand traps, is just to get any Tribrigade in the grave so I can get a plus one off of that. That would just be great. Um, uh, all, all I need is one off the mill, but after he milled me once, he got pretty much everything. <laughs> and then there's my Tribrigade monster. So I'm gonna get a plus one off of this mill as he continues to build up his board you know obviously standard plays but pretty much this is where it gets busted because he did mill the stein mr cyberstein sleeping in my class again summoning out nature exterior which is kind of busted you know honestly and also this is one of my favorite cards too i play this card a lot so Obviously, against this board breaker hand, what am I going to do? We got to see what happens. He drops the Abyss Dweller. He knows I'm playing Tri Brigade. And we're going to go ahead and draw. Now, he's going to go ahead and pop this effect in the standby phase, which is a really smart move. That's what you're supposed to do. And then, of course, we have Exterior that's going to back up and stop any Imperm. So I can't play any of my spells here, but I only really have two. So that's where Alpha comes in. Alpha has enough attack to knock this card out. And then also, um, if I really wanted to, I could use this effect to bounce um, another card too. So we'll see how this uh, works out. So he's going to go ahead and summon out some tier limit trash. He's going to go ahead and shuffle back his key tier limit components and mill the deck. And as you know, they always hit. And now it's fusion time. Summons out the kick. Kalos continues to... Keep fusing, Rukelos. So now we're just gonna attack and kill Exterio now that we can finally get our turn back. But you see, I didn't have to commit much for him to start using those effects, which I think is valuable against tier limits, which is why Alpha's pretty busted. So now we can use Alpha's effect to bounce, but then he used, had to use his negate. So he had to use his negate, and I got to take out Exterio, and he used two fusions, all for Alpha Master of Beasts. This is the ultimate bait for tournaments. Now I am gonna goof here because I'm gonna play uh, Imperm first on that, <laughs> and then I play Lightning Storm. I should have just played uh, the Lightning Storm, and I could have kept the uh, the Imperm. Uh, but honestly, you know, again, I goof, so I have to play around this now. But this is why I like that we can go into this with a special summon discard summon special summon activate effect he had to negate it but he didn't see my horse of the floral knights he doesn't know what debauchery my horse is here to perform so horse of the floral knights centaur mina centaur mina is gonna summon out um uh nervil and then nervil's gonna bring out shoe rig and now I forgot that I searched already with Shoe Rig this turn. So I didn't have anything to get because the plan was to search for Shoe Rig and then link into a Link 3 and then get the uh, Revolt and pass. But I didn't have that. <laughs> so because I didn't have a card in my hand, I couldn't continue that play. So I just had to end. And at this point, he's out of gas, too. He's top decking. He used up most of his effects, fused, and got key cards banished. So um, at this point, he's kind of grasping at straws here, trying to uh, find some path uh, away from this L. 
So my turn's gonna go. I can reset any trap he plays. So his trap is locked. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and summon. I'm gonna go ahead and maxi. Uh, I'm gonna draw for that. And then I draw into the one card I did not want. <laughs> but it's all good because we still got um, um, a monster on board. And look, we just drew Alpha back. So Alpha's gonna come in and create some dividends for us yet again. Now, what's funny about this is I can't use this effect, really. Like, I I can't use this until I lose a monster. Like, I need to have uh, four spots open to summon Shurik. <laughs> and I only got three. So, as he comes over, he's going to kill my monster. Now I have um, uh, four spots open. He's going to end the turn. I'm going to pop this revolt. And then we're going to get a nice banish and i'm gonna search all right so here's the ominous omen we're gonna use that effect and then we're gonna get a good banish second ruklos out of here um and then we're gonna keep going all right so here's another tier limit uh kit kalos now it's my germs i'm gonna draw into a nerval here we're gonna summon a nerval and then I'm going to go into my link three, I think is what I'm going to try to do, but he's going to, you know, do all this. Okay. Got Drago Sapelia. Then I activated the effect so he could use his effect. He negated it. Then I'm going to use my effect to banish three. Now, what's funny is I used the effect to summon this. I made a misplay here and I should have summoned that wing beast that I told you about that sends a card back to the graveyard. But at this point, the timer is clicking for both of us and we're just trying to hurry up <laughs> and um as you can see <laughs> as you can see <laughs> but in the end i think i definitely could have pulled this off uh to close this one out but this duel went really long obviously because i mean it's kind of crazy how much how much range that I was able to have against this deck, seeing how he started off. So let's go to this, check out another one. All right, and this is another good match here too. Um, it really just shows a lot of the power of like blowout cards, one card starters. Um, pretty much it just really gives you just a really strong idea of just kind of like what is something that can work in this type of format. So I think if I remember correctly, this is Runic and um what is that uh it's like runic stall into uh that that one deck uh the the the, the numerons numerons runic stall numerons so we're gonna start out blow all that shit up board breaking time <laughs> very nice then he's gonna go ahead and mill i'm gonna just cap all those cards very nice so now he has Nothing he can do. We're going to go run through the fractal line. Now, you know, love fractal line. Activate carrots effect to discard the rescue cat. Now, you might be like, why would you discard rescue cat if rescue cat is your whole jam? Well, you can see because by discarding rescue cat, I'm going to be able to summon out the shoe rig. going to get the banish and then we're going to continue our uh, combo line here. So this is basically the the fractal combo line. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring our horse of the floral knights. Then we're gonna go into our centaur Mina. Show you what I mean. Then bring back the spear holder to synchro into Borlo Savage and equip the shoe rig. Attack for big damage. And then we're gonna go ahead and set and pass. Now Obviously, how's he going to get through this? I don't know, but he's going to have a lot of trouble with the revolt sitting back here. And that's what I think is pretty interesting about this format of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Everything is so um, hidden. Like, that. Like I feel like if your deck is too straightforward and you just kind of put all your cards out there, like setting up like negate boards of old. That's like uh, not nuanced enough to win. <coughs> so you got to be able to hide some effects. Sometimes you got to hide your special summon, hide your banish, hide your Omni negate. 
and then release it in your opponent's turn at the right time, which is kind of the tier limit strategy in a nutshell. All right, my boys, here's the last one I want to show you. And then we're going to dip out of here for today because definitely I think, um, you know, this deck has a lot of potential and obviously any deck that has these blowout cards and hand traps has a lot of potential, but, uh, you know, check this out. Now, so this is a uh, Phantom Knights deck. It's like Phantom Knights and uh, something else. Uh, I forget what it was. Uh, but basically, this Phantom Knights deck is like a combo deck. Um, but he goes into the dankest Destiny hero, <laughs> Phoenix and Forster. Now, I'm. this is really funny because I'm like, what DPE? Like, I, like, what is this last year? I don't know. But it's funny, it's like DPEs here, but I opened with the perfect hand. So I've got Ash, Rescue Cat. I've got um, the Noble Knight Shield Bearer, which can pretty much search Horse of the Floral Knights or Hoppier Squadron. Then we got the Feather Duster and the Droplets. So this is pretty good. So we're just gonna lead with the Duster, then no response, chain the Droplets, pitching the Duster to negate DPE. Now, if it was me, I would have chained DPE's effect to DPE to like destroy um, my back row or something like that. Like I would have chained DPE um, because I would have thought DPE was going to like be at risk, uh, but he doesn't know what I'm playing. So he doesn't really know that I have an opportunity to banish. So I'm gonna use a uh, rescue cat. We're just gonna go into our full combo here. So here's Blossom. And then I'm doing the same combo that I showed you before with, um, basically uh uh shoe rig and uh into the horse of the floral knights combo line so we're gonna bring out the shoe rig gonna get that banish battle time <laughs> and just get in there for game but this is like super busted because he's like well no i have two summons i'm like oh yeah so at this point we still can finish our combo here and put a lot of pressure so we can go ahead and link two and then bring out Bearbum. And then we're gonna add a card with Shoe Rig. And then we're gonna discard two cards. Because remember, while we were executing this full combo, we did banish Horse of the Floral Knights and we did not activate the effect. So now we can bring back Horse of the Floral Knights, go into Borlo Savage Dragon. We can super equip Shoe Rig and then we can link uh, both Bearbum and Blossom into an Abalooza with uh, 1600 attack. So basically two monster effect negates and an Omni negate should wrap this duel up very nicely off of his top deck. So that's a GG and uh, he scooped off just the power of Borlo, which means, you know, he's out of here. All right, my boys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YT Dan Legendary Duelist. I'll be back for more content as I mentioned uh june 1st we're going to be streaming regularly from 12 to 4. i hope that you can join um in the meantime my boy enjoy these videos and enjoy um the uploads that i'm putting up throughout this week and as always keep it day put my problems in the paper then pass them around loud enough to wake the neighbor they mad at the sound trying to dial up the deputy mad at my brown my back at the wall battling straddling blurred lines of where the heat and the fanning begin kind of funny what the people call a legend the government call a weapon but really he just a man in the end he just a man in the end i lay me down to sleep i pray